Okay, I'll start the video. Okay, no, thank you. creates opportunities for people living with disabilities by providing information, resources, and programming geared towards greater inclusion and quality of life. Check out some of the programs we offer through our online learning platform, Connect Together, including our Service Mondays, where we highlight a local organization or initiative. This month, you'll learn about programs with the Richmond Center for Disability and Gambling Support BC. Tuesdays are for ABC Studios Art Therapy with Connectra. Wednesdays are Chair Yoga with Bobby Seal Comiskey. Thursdays are Adaptive Fitness with Ocean Rehab and Fitness. Fridays are Contemporary Improv Dance Classes with Janice Lawrence. Every third Friday is a growable presentation by the Disabled Independent Gardening Association. This month, we're talking squirrels in Stanley Park, so don't miss out on September 15th. Every third Monday is our perspective series, where you'll hear from guest speakers on varying topics. Join us on September 18th to hear a discussion about navigating music with a disability. Save the date for our upcoming Accessible Community Forum on Accessible Healthcare in British Columbia on October 27th. Check our website for more information and to have your voice heard by filling out our survey. Check out our updated programs calendar on our website, connector.org, or find us on Facebook at Connector Society. Okay, well, you can start. Okay, thank you, Kassar. So, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to an adapted seated yoga practice. And so, I'm just going to move into my iPad a little bit, put myself on gallery view. Yay! <laughs> so, um, lovely to see those of you who are participating in, uh, in person today. And of course, feel free to have your videos on or off. And also a gentle reminder that anytime you'd like, um, graciously, Connectra is recording the class. And so it's available on YouTube and Facebook. So... Um, that said, today I thought that I would um, begin with sharing a poem, one of my favorite Mary Oliver poems. And it is called Wild Geese. And so, invitation to find a comfortable sitting position. And so, you just roll your shoulders back and down. Feel free to um, close your eyes softly lightly or soften your gaze. And so wild geese, Mary Oliver. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert. Repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about your despair and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes. Over, the, pardon me, the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and over and over announcing your place in the family of things. Mary Oliver. And so I'm going to pop back into my chair. It's a little further back. Okay. So if possible, at this time, I'd like to invite you to find a place where you are supporting your own spine. Come away from the back of your neck so that you're able to sit forward on your sits bones. If you would like or you need the chair, the back of the chair for support today, 
honor that. And yoga meets us exactly where we are. And so lift your shoulders up, back and down. Relax your arms in your lap or by your side, wherever feels most comfortable for you. Feel free to close your eyes here if you would like. Notice the alignment of your knees, hips, ankles, shoulders, and your head. Notice the breath. And so placing one hand on your belly, you're noticing that as we inhale, belly moves out. On exhale, belly moves in. Take your other hand to your chest and maybe notice the pattern of movement of the breath between your abdomen and your upper torso. And then see if you can begin to make your breath just a little bit longer than it was when we began. And now see if you can begin to lengthen the exhale. And so when we lengthen our exhale, it engages the relaxation response, allowing us to let go of holding, stress, and tension. So whenever possible, I'd like to invite you to bring your awareness back to this deep, long, easeful breath. So if your eyes are closed, gradually blink your eyes. Open. Relax your arms down by your side or wherever feels most comfortable for you. And a little wiggly fidget. So do a little bum dance. And so I did bring a few notes for myself today. Um, so I'd like to reintroduce a practice called toning. So toning is using our voices to help kind of ease some of the tension in our body, kind of to help minimize pain. And um, yeah, we're not in person, but often I think it's a lovely way for us to connect to each other. So. Um, it will sound the three letters A, O, and M. And we can add our movements to this. And if you'd like, um, if you'd rather listen, feel free to listen. So here we go. Reach your arm up to the sky. And then on your exhale, make the sound A. A. Other side, reaching up as high as what's comfortable for you. Letter O. O. Both arms reach up as you down. Letter M, lips slightly touching. And so let's practice one more round. Inhale, reach. A inhale. Oh. Letter M. M. So let's take three deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. And so when you're ready, rub your palms together. And so you might give your hands a little massage, your wrists, and you know, sweeping up your arms. And 
And so I'd like you to notice where in your body that you're holding stress or tension and see if you can bring some of that loving energy from your hands to that place. And so open to receive. And then rub your palms together this time. Thank you in a new place. Or you can use a little extra TLC and take your hands there. Oh, so from here we'll come into your <clears throat> gentle warm up for our neck. And so as you're ready, bring your chin gently towards your chest. And then look up slightly. Maybe your eyes meet where the ceiling meets the wall. And so warming up our cervical spine, gentle movements. Up and down. And then it's ready. Bring your head back center and then take one ear towards your shoulder. And then move your head back and forth. So from side to side. Now it's ready. Bring your head back center. And then turn a soft gaze looking towards your shoulder. And so only move your head as far as feels comfortable for you. And then turn your head from side to side. So as if nodding, no. Hands ready, bring your head back to center. And from here, if you'd like, and it's available to you, I'd like to invite you to bring your hand up onto the side of your head and then create resistance. And then switch sides. And And then when you're ready, make a soft fist, bring it up to your jaw, and again, create resistance. Other side. You can hold your elbow, that's helpful. And then bring a soft fist in the middle of your forehead, third eye, gentle pressure here. And then lastly, if it's available to you, take your hand. So I like to interlace my fingers. Place them at the base of your skull and then press your head gently against your hands. And so if this is not accessible to you, if you happen to have a headrest, might be that pressing your head against the headrest is good. And release motion. So let's practice a little bit of face yoga. So one of the hardest places to let go of tension is in our face. And so um, we're going to make some nasty faces. And of course, no one can see you uh, except for me. And I'll be busy making my own nasty <laughs> faces. So um, I really love this practice. I don't know what it is, but it often makes me smile and laugh. So here we go. Open your mouth wide. And relax. Open your mouth wide again. And this time, see if you can bring your lips over your teeth. And relax. This time, see if you can draw your facial muscles towards your nose. And so one more, um, I'd like you to take your hands up to your scalp, up to your head, 
and give yourself a little head massage. And so you're not just moving the hair around, you're actually doing little circles, moving the scalp. And so who among us doesn't like a nice scalp massage when we go for hairdos? And then if you want to just tug a little bit, grab a handful of hair and tug. Um, just uh, for those of you who might be new to the class, I do have a bunny rabbit whose name is Evie. He's quite active right now. He's hopping around in front of me. Probably can't see him in the screen, but he may well hop over here. So he's the real deal. Hi, bunny. Hi, Evie. Hello. Yes. Invite him. Come on, we love us. And so, uh, moving on, let's uh, move down along the spine. So I'd like you to uh, round your back. So draw your chest in. So it's as if our sternum is moving to the back of our ribs. And then the sternum lifts, moves forward. So we're opening up our solar plexus, our heart, our throat. And so we'll keep this gentle movement flowing. And so this is a warm up for thoracic area of your spine or upper back called calf and cow. And so you might notice that as we inhale, the hands naturally have a tendency to slide in towards our hips. And on the exhale, hands slide away. So move in a way that feels natural for you. So natural that the movements and the breath become one. And it's ready, finish up the movements that you're on. Come on back to neutral spine, take a moment. And so from here, I'd like you to reach one hand down towards the floor. So as if you're reaching to pick something up. And so we want our shoulder lined up with shoulder. So if it's helpful, you can visualize being seated between two panes of glass. And then move from side to side. So keep both sits bones on the chair. And so it be helpful to inhale to one side, exhale to the other side. And you might notice that as we warm up our spine, these movements become more ease when we need to go a little bit deeper. And as you're ready, come on back to neutral spine. Moment and from here we'll come into a gentle twist. And so let's begin with lengthening the spine and then gently coming into the twist and slides in towards your head and turns last and then we'll move dynamically. So from side to side. So this is a gentle twist. We're not going to our full range of motion. And finish up the movements that you're on. Come on back to center. Take a moment. Shake out. And then if you'd like, you close your eyes softly or soften your gaze. I'd like to invite you to notice the effects of those movements in the spine. You notice how's your breath, notice any subtle sensations. Has anything changed? And so moving on, tap your fingers. 
And then maybe with your hands where they are, tap from your pinkies to your thumbs. Thumbs to pinkies. Tap an air piano. I see somebody playing boogie woogie. And then uh, when you're ready, push your hands away. Draw your hands back. Push your hands away. So with this lovely movement, not only are we getting into all the major joints in our arms, we are getting into all the area around our shoulder blades. Nice way to give ourselves a little back massage. Push your hands away. Draw your hands. And so now I'd like to invite you to roll your wrist in one direction. You might even notice one wrist is tighter than the other. So, so as human beings, we tend to be tighter on one side. And then roll your wrist the opposite direction. See if you can slow the movements right here. And you even imagine that you're moving your hands through the water. So let's get into our elbow joints a little bit. So we'll bend our elbows, palms face away, and release. Spiral your palms open, bend your elbows, palms face away, and release. One more time. Palms open, bend your elbows, palms face away, and release. Okay. And shake that. And so let's go for a yoga swim. We'll start freestyle. So arms can be as high or low as you can. And then how about breaststroke? And side stroke. Other side. And how about backstroke? We'll finish up with butterfly. <laughs> Take a rest. So I know you feel a little more energized. And so Let's read both. So an invitation to ground down through your feet, center and ground through the soles of your feet. So we want to keep our connection with Mother Earth. We tend to start losing that. We're down to your sits bones. We notice where your bum and your thighs are in contact with your seat. Our spine is long. Lift your shoulders. Uh, back and down. Tuck your chin in slightly to release the back of your neck. And so I'd like to, I'm just going to move in about body tapping. And so I'd like you to tap down the outside of your legs from wherever you can reach coming forward. Be stable in your chair. And then tap up the inside. And we'll do this two more times. Tapping. The tapping feels a little too intense. Just be touch lightly. Uh, so one more time. Tapping down the outside. Coming back up in your thighs. And now we're going to reverse this. So let's tap, moving down from the inside. And come up the other side. And two more times. So you can do your own thing a couple more times. And let's finish up the movement that you're on. Let's 
So you might take a moment, notice the effects of the body tapping. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. So from here, I'd like to come into a back bend. So I realized I need to really be incorporating more back bend type movements and poses into the class. Um, a lot of us collapse forward in our chest. So this gentle back bend. I'd like to invite you to take hold of the underside of your chair. Or my feel that you can take hold of one wrist. So where we can reach comfortably. So legs in the spine, open up your throat and lift up through the crown of your head. So be careful not to throw your head back. You might notice if this opens up our breathing or our lungs a little bit. And when it's ready, come on back to your neutral. So from here, I'd like to come into a practice called finding our balance. So you can hold on to the sides of the chair, hands at your hips. Um, if you know balance is a challenge for you, make sure you have whatever device you need to keep you stable in your chair. So we'll begin with an inhale, lengthening the spine, and then hinging from the hips, rock forward a little. So come forward with a flat back, and then rock back up. We're going to keep this gentle movement flowing. So I'm going to invite you to maybe move towards your 50%. And noticing that sometimes when we come into a forward fold, our chin wants to jet up. I'm going to encourage you to tuck your chin in slightly. And it can be interesting to close your eyes as we practice these gentle movements. And hands ready, come on back to your neutral spine. Take a moment. And then I'd like to invite you to circle your heart forward and then circle back. So now we're getting into our hips, our lower back a little bit more. And as you begin to feel your back, your hips soften and release, See if you can go a little bit deeper. So shoulders move towards our knees. Of course, we're not gonna come all the way down. And your circles might be larger, they might be smaller than mine. You move in your own time and rhythm. And then as ready, reverse. So bring a gentle awareness to the space in front of you. Bring your awareness to the space beside you. Notice how that makes you feel. Bring your awareness to the space above you. And especially an invitation to take your awareness to the space behind you. And moving away from me to we, trusting that we are being supported. And slowly make your way back to stillness. Relax your arms by your sides and rest your hands on your lap. And take a moment to let your breath settle. Notice how you feel. So from here, let's come into a side bend. So take hold of the underside of your chair. Release your opposite arm by your side, spiral your palm open. So I'll give you two options. You can take your hand to your shoulder, or maybe it feels okay to reach up and over. So you choose. Let's actually begin this again. So you're holding the side of the chair for stability. Extend your opposite arm, spiral your palm open. Take your hand to your place, and then come into your side bend. Keeping both sits bones on the chair, turn your gaze down towards the floor 
and release your neck. Breathe into your ribcage. Can you imagine breathing in below your ribcage? Come out of the pose on this side. And so other side, take hold of the underside of the chair, extend your opposite arm, spiral your palm open, take your arm to your place, come into your side. And slowly come out of the pose. So I'm thinking, let's come into it one more time on each side. So arm by your side, spiral your palm open, reach up to the sky, and then. And you float your arm down. And then come into the other side, send your arms, spiral your palm open, reach out to your place, and bend. Out of the pose, reach up, and release. Whew, nice little shake out. And so let's uh, from here, let's come into a seated twist. And so for this version, I'd like you to bring your palms together, lift your elbows, inhale, lengthen your spine, and then bring your elbow point down to your thigh. Lift your other elbow up towards the sky and then turn your gaze up. Looking beyond past your shoulder, elbow for me, if that feels okay for you there. And then as you're ready, come on back center. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, come into the twist. Elbow point to your thigh, lift your opposite elbow up, press into the palms of your hands. Turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. Come back center. And release. So let's rock and roll, reach up to the sky and twist, reach up and twist, reach up and twist. One last time, reaching up to the sky and twist, twist. So come on back, the neutral spine, take a moment. And so I'd like to, introduce uh, a side stretch. I don't think I've shared this class before. So we'll just see how it goes. If it works for you, wonderful. If it doesn't, come back to your breath. Um, might be that you're visualizing the movement. And so for this, if you're able to bring your feet a little wider than outer hip bone distance, go for it. Nice tracking over ankles. And then when you're ready, bring your forearm down to your thigh. Palm face up. Give yourself permission to have a beginner mind. And then your other arm, your extend, and you can take your hand to your shoulder or reach that arm up along your ear, or even you can have your hand at your hip. So whatever works for you. And feel that nice long line. And then come on back. And let's practice this on the other side. There we go. In 10, sideways stretch. Forearm on your thigh. Send your opposite arm. Spiral your palm open. So take your hand to your place. Let's be hand on your shoulder, up along your ear. And release. Okay, so those movements in the spine can be pretty intense, so we'll need to realign our spine. We can do that with a gentle forward fold. So, if possible, you're sitting back in your chair and bring your feet a little wider, and then hands fold onto the front of the chair, and then lengthen your spine, and then hinging forward and forward. The flat back. Lay 
let your head hang slightly to release your neck and breathe into your lower back for me. Breathing in and out through the nose. And then we're going to do one more stretch sideways. So, come to the side, you can use your hands on your thighs or your chair. And we'll go as far as feels comfortable for you. So, you're turning your sternum towards your thigh. And then come on back up, lengthen, other side. Inhale, come back up. And release. So I'm going to just give you a nice little shake out of the blue pigeon. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So from here, um, let's come into uh, sun salutation and modify food and share. And so we'll begin in mountain pose. Arms by your sides, spiraling palms open. Open up your armpits. Take your hands to your heart center. Reach up to the sky, gentle back arch. So bend from above your shoulder blades. Hinging from the hips into a forward fold. So I like to have my hands at my hips. Tuck your chin in slightly. Forward fold. And then we'll come into a lunge pose. So it might be that you're visualizing this movement. Or if possible, step your leg under the front of the chair and then you can add the arm. So your arm up along your ear, your gold post. Float your arm down, step your foot forward. Now from here, we're gonna come into downward facing dog. So arms on a diagonal. Then placing your hands on your thighs, baby cobra. So lower, and then lift up through the crown of the head. Downward facing dog again. So you might lower a little more, arms on a diagonal. Come on back up, and we'll come into lunge on the other side. So if possible, you're stepping that front leg under the chair, add your arm. Float your arm down, step your foot forward, arms by your sides, spiral your palms open, gentle back bend, and hands come back to your heart. Hi, baby. Hello, bunny. Baby is poking me. So let's come into another round. Spiral your palms open, take your hands to your heart center. Reach up to the sky, gentle back crunch. Hinging from the hips, come into a forward fold. Back up into a lunge. So this time, opposite side, step the foot under. Reach your arm up. Float your arm down. Step your foot forward. Downward facing dog, arms on the diagonal, push those sits bones back in the chair. Baby cobra, place your hands on your thighs and lift your up to the crown of your head. Downward facing dog again, arms on the diagonal. Come on back up and we'll come into a lunge on the other side, so if possible. Step the front leg underneath your chair, reach your arm up. Feel the strength of this pose. Float your arm down, step your foot forward, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Reach up to the sky, gentle back crunch. And then hands come back. Place one hand on your belly, the other on your heart center. And take a rest. And so from here, we'll just uh, maybe do one more pose. So I'd like to um, share eagle pose with you. So a lot of us have a lot of neck and shoulder stuff going on, tension. 
And so when you're ready, bend your elbows. Reach across, tuck your elbow point. Draw your elbow in towards the midline. Let that shoulder soften away from your ear. Maybe on an inhale, reaching up a little higher. So find a space you can gaze on in the horizon. Ease open. And release. Other side, bend your elbows, cut your elbow point, draw that arm into the midline, soften the top of your shoulder, reach up a little higher. Ease open. So arms by your side, spiral your palms open, cross one arm over the other, take hold of your shoulders, wherever you can reach comfortably. If you can walk your fingertips back a little more, draw up your chin towards your chest. It's okay to let your shoulders round here. So this is an I love me bear hug. Remember which arm is on top, extend your arms up to the side. So we'll do bear hug number two. Cross your arms, maybe even taking hold of your elbow points if that feels better and more accessible. Drop your chin towards your chest, let your shoulders round towards your pipeline. I love me, bear hug number two. And then when you're ready, Add a little pose and shake. Okay, so come on, seated comfortably back in the chair for a short guided meditation and final relaxation. So I think I'd like to move into the screen a little bit closer so I can see a little better. And um, I might even turn my light down a little bit here. See how that goes. <laughs> or, okay, so find a comfortable sitting position. And so you can sit in a way that you feel the most at ease. And so for the meditation practice, you're sitting comfortably, however, we're still alert. And so I'd like to invite you to place your hands, palms face down. Draw your hands in towards your hip creases. And then an invitation to look down and into your heart. See what you can see. <coughs> Pardon me. And to breathe into your heart. So breathing in, I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I'm breathing out. As my in-breath grows deep, my out-breath grows slow. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I release. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is a lovely moment, a wonderful moment. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. And so we'll sit and breathe together for a few moments with a gentle reminder before we move into our final relaxation. Breathing.
Come into whatever comfortable sitting position you'd like for your final relaxation. And so make sure that you're warm enough if you'd like a blanket. If you're able to recline in your chair, go for it. <clears throat> and so this is meant to be a deep conscious relaxation. We're not meant to fall asleep yet. That said, no judgment if you fall asleep. It just means you're tired. And so maybe begin with your eyes closed softly if that feels comfortable for you or soften your gaze. Lift your shoulders up, back and down. Soft, organic movements. So it's not meant to be a big scrunch towards your ears. Essentially, we're allowing our shoulders to soften away from our ears. Rest your hands, palms face up or down as desired. So soft palms, soft Buddha belly, quiet breath. Allow your breath to breathe itself. Relax your jaw and clench your teeth. Let there be a little space between your teeth. Soften your lower jaw. Soften around your temples. Soften the area between your eyebrows, wide forehead. And silently, if you'd like, on inhale, say let. On exhale, go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. If it's challenging to quiet the mind, place in our hands on the belly. And bringing our awareness to our breath can be helpful. So without changing anything, bring a gentle awareness back to your breath. Thank your body. Thank your body again. And now see if you can begin to deepen your inhale, lengthen your exhale. If your eyes are closed, gently blink your eyes open. <clears throat> and then an invitation to take a look around the space you're in. Name three objects. Bring this back. And so thank you, everyone. Notice how you feel before and after yoga. Uh, questions or feedback, I always love to hear from you. So I'm happy to stay for a few moments after the class. And I'd like to uh, thank my awesome tech host, Kassar, and the Disability Foundation for providing this opportunity for us to hang out and practice yoga together. So that's all she wrote. Thanks, Bobby. I really liked the toning at the beginning of the class. Oh, did you? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I think, cool. I think it's a nice way to maybe begin it and to end it. Ah, okay. I'll keep that in mind. For sure, yeah. <laughs> but I did get it. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thanks, Bobby. I really enjoyed um, the oh, excerpt you read sorry. from Mar Mary Oliver's book. Yeah, very nice. Was yeah. it a poem or a part of uh, some a, a poem? Part, a poem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So Bye. nice to see you. Been a while. Thanks, Connectra. Thanks. Nice to see everyone. Thanks, Bobby. So nice You're to welcome. see you again. Bye, Mercedes. Bye, others that are here. Maybe not because I can't see you, but <laughs> lovely to feel Bye, Bobby. Thank Bye. you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you guys next week.